Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. So in this entire video, we will try to calculate for these three measurements of central tendency, and we will try to define them. So without further ado, let's do this topic. The first part is the mean. Mean is commonly known as the average. Average is the sum of all numbers divided by how many numbers are there in a set of data. And mean is the most popular among the, the measures of central tendency. Compared to median and mode, this one is the commonly used, and this one is the most popular measure of central tendency. The formula is that we have this one. Bar x is equal to the summation of x over n, wherein your bar x is the mean. Summation of x is the sum of the values. Your n is the number of values in a given data set. Now, for you to understand how to use this formula, let's have example number one. Edna's math test scores were 79, 51, 83, 76, 99, 75, 73, 84, and 77. Let's copy the formula. Bar x or mean is equal to the summation of x over n. We will copy the symbol, bar x. And then for the summation of x, all we need to do is to add all these numbers or the test scores of Edna. So we have 79 plus 51 plus 83 plus 76 plus 99 plus 75 plus 73 plus 84 plus 77 over again this is your bar summation of x and then for the n you will count the number of test scores 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this is over 9 so copy bar x is equal to what is the sum of these numbers from 79 to 77? The answer is 697 divided by n, which is 9. Okay? When you divide this, the quotient is 77.444, but we will try to minimize the decimal numbers. So we will use a single decimal. And here, the average or the mean of Edna's math test scores is 74, 77.4. Okay? And as you can see, we have another example here. I will allow you to calculate for number 2. Okay? I want you to calculate number 2. And this will serve as your assignment. So again, we are done with the mean. Now let's move on with the second part of this one, of this video. We have the second measurement, which is the median. Median, the value in the distribution which divides the data into two equal parts. The data should be arranged in increasing or decreasing order. Yung median kasi natin, it is the midpoint of a given data set. Kaya nga, hinahati niya into two equal parts ang isang given data set. Tapos, to find the median, the first thing you need to do is to arrange the given data set in decreasing or increasing bahala na kayo kung saan kayo mas komportable now let's have example number 1 find the median of the given data set we have 67 89 93 77 84 ngayon we need to arrange this in ascending or descending or increasing o kaya decreasing ako gagawin ko I will arrange it into increasing order or ascending. I will start with 67. So I have here 67 followed by 77 next 84 The reason why I'm marking those numbers na in range ko na para matandaan kong tapos na ako sa number na yan. So I still have two numbers. We have 89 and then 93 Okay, we have 93. Now, 
you will count the number of scores here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. As you can see, 5 is an odd number. Meaning, there's a specific point na nasa gitna nito mga numbers ito. If we have 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, this one is the middle. The third one. Meaning, the median or MD is equal to 84. This is our median. Again, kapag odd yung bilang ng data set, ibig sabihin mayroon siyang midpoint talaga. Another example, let's say for example, you have 7 numbers. Ang median niya is equal to what? What is the median? Guys, the median is the fourth one. Okay? So let's move on with the second example. We, are, we have here, find the median of the given data set. Mas marami ito ng content. We have 13, 11, 10, 12, 14, 9, 11, and 12. So, ascending order uli ako, I will start with 9. 9, followed by 10, 11, dalawang 11, followed by 12, dalawa, then 13, and 14. Let's count the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. As you can see, even number. Even yung bilang ng data. So, nasan, yung, nasan ngayon yung gitna ng, pang, ng 8 numbers? The middle is this. Ito yung middle niya. Yung 4th and 5th. Since even sila, nandito yung gitna niyan. Okay? In between 11 and 12. So, what we need to do is to calculate the me to calculate the median, we need to add the numbers 11 and 12. 11 plus 12 and then divided by 2. So what we have here is equal to 23 over 2. 23 divided by 2, yung median natin ngayon is equal to how many? 11.5. This is the median of the given data set. Okay, guys. Let's move on with the last one. Siyempre, if we have mean, median, meron naman tayong tinatawag na mode. Yung mode natin is this. Let's define the mode. The mode is the value that appears most frequently in the data set. Yung mode daw is a, is a number in the data set na siya yung pinakamaraming beses na nag-a-appear sa mismong data. Pero, you need to remember this. Meron tayong different types of mode. Non-modal, ibig sabihin, walang mode. Tri-mode, ah, uh, unimodal, merong isang mode. Bimodal, two modes. Tri-modal, three modes. Multimodal, four or more modes in a given data set. So, let's have examples para mas maintindihan nyo yung pagkuha ng mode. We have 67, 89, 93, 77, 84. Actually, ang kailangan mo nitong gawin muna is to arrange the numbers din. Pero, ako hindi ko na siya i-arrange. Okay? So, try to observe the numbers. Meron ba tayo nakuulit na number? Wala. Lahat sila, pare-pares, isang beses na nag-appear sa ating given data set. So, ang ano kasi, ang logic kasi dito, most frequently na nag-appear. Since pare-pares lang tagi isang beses lang namalabas sa ating data set, ang conclusion natin dito, is no mode tayo. Wala tayong mode. So, anong type ng mode meron tayo? This is a non-modal. Okay? Kasi, walang number or data or walang specific number na nag-appear na mas marami compared sa iba. That's why, non-modal or no mode. Now, let's move on to item number 2. Find the mode of the given data set. So, dito, kung mapansin nyo, 14, 13, 12, 12, 11, 11, 10, and 9. So, kung mapansin nyo, yung 12 and 11 natin, okay, mas maraming beses sila nag-appear compared kay 14, 13, 10, and 9. So, mas frequent sila. Yun nga lang, pareha sila. Okay? So, ilan, na, ilan mode na meron tayo? We have two modes. The modes are, ang mode natin, are 12 and 11. Since meron tayong dalawang mode, which is 12 and 11, meaning, anong type ng mode na meron tayo? This one is a bimodal. 
meaning we have two existing modes in a given data set. So yun guys, I hope na natutunan nyo yung ating discussion about measures of central tendency which is mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. And don't forget yung ating assignment sa number 2 ng ating mean. Okay? So, if you're new to my channel guys, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!